see this video again on TikTok. Shit, I'm too short. I'm too short. I think they just asked my question, I think. Um, Sakyoksar. Oh, oh, whoa. Barbecue, Korean barbecue. Korean barbecue. Okay, they like their meat. Tell tells me you're not alive. I'm for you on that. Yes, I'm here for you. Um, all right, this next one is. Oh. This is like not good. There are literally three ambulances right outside. This is so concerning. Everything about this day has been like just really concerning. Yeah. Um. So I filmed this whole super long vlog talking about my thoughts and feelings about this event. But at this point, I'm kind of just tired of talking about it. Like everybody's already talked about all the bad stuff. Um, my experience is just my experience, like one of like <laughs> many other people's experiences and there's nothing special about what I have to say in relation to what everybody else has already said. But one thing that I really do wanna do is highlight the boys um, and highlight how thankful I am to them and everything that they've done. I mean, even just seeing the way that they were concerned and careful about the fans was really i wish it wasn't necessary but it was not good to see but like validating to see like these are the people that i've decided to be a fan of and like i made a good choice you know like doyoung was looking in my direction at one point and i got really excited because it's doyoung um before i realized that he was just keeping his eye on and tracking a person who was like exiting the crowd because they were going through something. And I just think that that says a lot about the state of the event and things that were going on in the event. There is one thing that I do want to clarify though, because I do feel like I have seen some tweets that were like, oh, security wasn't that bad. Um, <laughs> There was one person who was having a negative experience in the crowd who ended up coming out and like sitting right next to me. I was all the way in the back, um, out of my own choice, honestly, uh, but also because <laughs> I arrived at 7.30, which is apparently late for, for this little line that we have going. And I just wanna say that um, security kind of abandoned that person there. I want to shout out to the person who is standing on the ledge who had a Jaehun heart, um, who tried to catch people's attention to take care of this person, um, started fanning them with their fan and things like that. But I was standing there for a good like five to 10 minutes and no security came back to address the fact that this person was still clearly still going through something. Um, so I just want to say from my perspective that um, security could have done a better job. And citizens, please take care of yourselves, but also take care of the people that are around you. Um, we're all a community. We're all in this together. And like, I will say that it is an awful, awful, awful feeling to see somebody that like, ooh, I'm kind of getting emotional about it because it's like really rough um, to see somebody who's like, here for the same reason as you, who loves the same people that you do, who's like, like suffering and like going through something. Um, it's not easy. <laughs> ah, I knew this would happen. I knew I would just start rambling if I kept thinking about it. <laughs> and that's not what I wanted to do. But um, some fans did mention at the end, I overheard them saying that like, oh, they didn't think that this event was worth it in the end. And to me, I feel like that's like a harmful way of, th or like a, like a not good way of viewing it because it sort of like removes the amount of sacrifice that NCT put into this. Like they literally gave us three plus hours of their time, um, stopped by LA when they didn't have to because they had schedules in San Diego and the Bay. Like they literally could have had like 
a break vacation day off in the middle, but instead they decided to spend it with us. And I think that that's something that despite everything, we should be really grateful for. I hope that those fans are okay and taking care of themselves. I think that what we should really focus on now is like fans treating each other better, um, being kinder to each other and more considerate to each other, having Capital apologize, like please and thank you, and then saying thank you and being grateful to the boys because the very last thing that I want out of all of this is for them to feel bad. They're literally some of the sweetest people on earth and the last thing that I want is for them to feel responsibility or like onus in what was going on. Um, none of this is their fault none of it and i want them to remember that and for us to remember that and continually remind them of that too all of us could do with showing nct a little bit more love and gratefulness even if we already do they deserve so much more